Sis, welcome. Good evening. Welcome to um, today's prayers for future husbands. Prayers for husbands, and also it will be also prayers for it will be prayers to our husbands and also prayers for our marriages. Praise God. And as usual, we use the book Prayers for Future Husband, which you can get with the link if you are watching this on YouTube with the link in the description box. I apologize, my voice is strained from today. Thank you, Jesus. So let's, uh, today's Father's Day. Your husband is in the hand of the Lord. Let's just begin to thank the Lord. And let's just, just begin to say thank you, Father. <laughs> thank you. Thank you for our husbands. Thank you for our men of God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for the men you've chosen for us. Thank you for the men you have for us. Thank you. Thank you for our homes. Thank you for our families. Thank you for our husbands. Father, we thank you. We give you praise, Jesus. We give you praise, Jesus. We're going to pray the prayers in day 15. First of all, which is prayers for our husband's life in the marketplace. Thank you, Jesus. Peradventure, your husband is one who is not a, an apostle or a pastor, a prophet, or a teacher, or, a pro, or, or one of the fivefold ministries. Or maybe he's a light for Jesus in the marketplace. Maybe he does business. Maybe he works in a company, in a firm, he's a lawyer, he's a doctor. Everything is still him serving the Lord with it. So I'm going to begin to pray these prayers and begin to say, Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you for my husband. And I pray, Lord, that my husband is a light for Jesus in his workplace. If he currently works at a job, Father, I pray that he's a light for you in that place. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, just begin to pray that my husband is a light for Jesus in his workplace, in his business, as he interrupts, interacts with the world in his workplace. He's a light for you, Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. You're going to pray that in the name of Jesus, my husband is not run by greed, but is run by the bigger picture, which is by souls who need the Lord. He's not a man who bows to mammon, but he bows to Jesus. He's not run by greed. He's not run by love for money. In the name of Jesus Christ. 
Orado sofre tere que dos. Embre que dos shira bala 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 bala. Brato sofre tere que de que de que dos ya. O jada bala 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 dos. Roko to soto do 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 dos. Embra shara bala 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 dos. My husband is not run by mammon. He is not led by a love for money. He is led by a love for God in his workplace. In the name of Jesus. We're going to pray the next prayer. The Father, in the name of Jesus, my husband carries an excellent spirit. He carries the spirit of the Lord. Therefore, he excels in his workplace. And everything he does is good in the eyes of his bosses and in the eyes of his colleagues. Prayers in the name of Jesus. Father, I declare that my husband carries an excellent spirit. He carries the excellent spirit of the Lord. He is not run by greed. The spirit of excellence is upon him. He excels in his workplace. Everything my husband does is gold in the eyes of his bosses, in the eyes of his colleagues. He carries out his work with an excellent spirit in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, we pray the next prayer. My husband is an example to all and sundry. His work ethics are based on the work ethics of the Father God. He does not bring shame to the Lord. He represents the Lord in his character, in his behavior, in his attitude, at his workplace, in the name of Jesus. Father, I declare my husband is an example to all and sundry. In his, his work ethics are based on the work ethics of the Father Lord. He does not bring shame to the Lord. He represents the Lord in his character, in his behavior, in his attitude, in his workplace. Men look at him and they see that he's a representative of the Father as he walks as that job, as he walks in the marketplace in the name of Jesus. I'm going to declare that Father, favor my husband, making an, an indispensable asset in his place of work. Let the favor of God come upon my husband, come upon what he does. Let him be an indispensable asset in his workplace. One that his bosses will say that you are an asset to us. You are a blessing to this workplace. You are a blessing to this workplace. Father, let my husband be an asset. Let my husband be an asset in his workplace. We are going to be praying from Prayers of Future Husband Book Day 15 for our husbands. Let's just begin to declare the prayers here. Father, my husband is a light for you. In the name of Jesus Christ, my husband does not is not run by greed. He's run by the bigger picture in his workplace. He's run by souls who need the Lord. His heart is hungry for souls to come into the kingdom of God. In the name of Jesus Christ, I declare that my husband carries an excellent spirit. Begin to declare the word of God upon him. He carries the spirit of God. He excels in his workplace. Everything he does is gold in the eyes of his bosses, in the eyes of his colleagues. In the name of Jesus Christ, I declare that my husband is an example to all and sundry. His work ethics are based on the work ethics of the Father God. He does not bring shame to the name of the Lord. He represents the Lord in his character, in his behavior, in his attitude, in his workplace, in the name of Jesus. Begin to declare the favor of God upon your husband. As my husband works wherever he's working right now, I declare that the favor of God is upon him. The favor of God makes him an indispensable asset in the name of Jesus Christ. The favor of God makes my husband an indispensable asset in the name of Jesus. I declare that We're praying from day 15 for our future husbands, praying for their market walk in the marketplace. We already started praying. We already started praying.
Just begin to declare the favor of God upon your husband. Pray as for his life in the marketplace. Father, I pray that you favor my husband. You make him an indispensable asset. Even in spheres, he has never thought of in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, favor him. Pour your favor upon my man of God. In the name of Jesus. Father, I pray that you take it. Make my husband an indispensable asset. Even in spheres that I've never thought of. Dispense your wisdom through him, God. In the marketplace, Father. In braso to rotosti. Reketoso to bobos. In the name of Jesus, dispense your wisdom through my husband. Let men see my husband in the workplace and be drawn to the Lord. In the name of Jesus Christ, in his moment of trials, in his moment of tests, in the moment of temptation, whatever he's tempted by, whether it is by mammon or lust, let him find the inner strength to hold on to you, God, and to your way of doing things. Help him not to sell his, his, his bet rights because of lust, because of immediate gratification in his workplace, Lord, strengthen him. In the name of Jesus, let's begin to plead the blood of Jesus over. Father, I plead the blood of Jesus over my husband. I draw a bloodline round about him. I declare that in his workplace, no weapon formed against him shall prosper. Every tongue that rises against my husband, the Lord condemns. In the name of Jesus Christ, Father, protect him in his workplace. Shield him. It is going out and is coming in. As he goes to work, as he comes back home, shield him in the name of Jesus. Let's begin to pray that his love walk is an example. My husband's love walk is an example to many. Even the most hardened sinner in his sphere of business is won over to the Lord as a result of the God kind of love he experiences from my husband. In the name of Jesus, my husband is a being of love. He exudes the love of God in his workplace. He does not hold offense. He does not hold envy. He does not, he's not jealous. He loves, he loves, he loves his colleagues. He loves his bosses. He's a love being. In the name of Jesus, my husband makes Jesus proud in his workplace. And men are drawn to the Lord because of my husband. In the mighty name of Jesus. Men are drawn to the Lord because of my man of God. In the name of Jesus, Father, I pray that you will uphold my husband. You will keep him strong for you in his workplace. You will make him a man of integrity. You will make him a man of honesty. You will make him a man filled with the excellent spirit of God. Men would have good testimony of him in his workplace. In the name of Jesus, he will shine the light of Christ. He will exude God in his workplace. In the mighty name of Jesus. The scripture here is saying that you are the light of the world. There is a city set on a hill that cannot be hidden. Nor do men light the lamp and put it under a measure. But in a lampstand and it gives light to all in the house. So let your light so shine before men that they may see your moral excellence and your praiseworthy, noble and good deeds and recognize and honor and praise and glorify your father, which is Matthew 5 verse 14 to 16. We're going to begin to declare the word of God upon our husbands. Begin to declare, my husband is a light of the world. He's a city set on the hill that cannot be hidden. He cannot be put under a bushel. His light shines before men. Men see his works. Men see his noble deeds and they glorify God. He brings glory to God with innovative solutions, with you know, innovative ideas, business ideas, services and products that brings glory to God when it is put to work in the marketplace. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. My husband is visible. God places him at the gates. At the gate of industries. At the gates of sectors. He's not a mean man. He does not serve mean men. He stands before kings. He stands before queens. 
He's a blessed of the Lord. He's blessed in his going out. He's blessed in his coming in. He's blessed in his, he's blessed in his workplace. Everything his hand touches is blessed. He's favored by God. The light of God shines through him. In his workplace, he's a city set on a hill that cannot be hidden. In the name of Jesus Christ, we're going to pray. We're going to pray right now for sisters in the prayers of future husband challenge, Tanzania, including ourselves. Everyone who is ready, right for marriage, that in the name of Jesus Christ, the Spirit of the Lord, by the angel of God, he blows a wind. He brings together couples in this season. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Spirit of the Lord brings together couples in this season. In the mighty name of Jesus, the wind of heaven, blow from the north, blow from the south, blow from the east, blow from the west. Let the east wind blow together couples, blow together the kingdom and glory of God. Let testimonies arise from these 31 days. Only God can do. Not man. Not us. Let the spirit of the Lord take over. Take control. As women pray in faith. Let faith arrange homes. Kingdom homes. Homes for them. Homes for them. Homes for them. Households for them. Father, we thank you. Because the husband man that laboreth is the first partaker thereof. We ourselves laboring here. We have our own testimonies. In Jesus' name. Thank you for kingdom homes rising. Thank you for homes of service to the Lord. Homes of vision for Jesus. Homes, oh God, that will bring glory. Thank you, Lord, for obstacles that have been removed. Obstructions taken out of the way. Thank you, Father. These kingdom connections are happening now. Your angel have been sent out to bring these homes, these men, these women together. They recognize one another. They see one another. They accept one another. Thank you for ease for wish this kingdom thank you because no one will be confused all of us are helped by god in this season of marriage in jesus name amen thank you father blessed be your holy name for in jesus mighty name we have prayed amen and amen and amen once again please forgive my voice i strained my voice today i want to uh say if you are watching this later and if you are in tanzania we are going to be having a prayer to future husband and uh, wife meet up in Dar es Salaam next week, Sunday, 25th June, 2023. You are invited. If you are in Dar es Salaam, come join us. If you are in a relationship, come with your, your partner. It's both for men and women. If you are watching this and you are from the other prayers to future husband groups, we'll share the link for you to join us on YouTube. Make sure that you do not miss it by the grace of God. So please have a good night in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you. Amen. God bless you too. Thank you.